Brotherhood in a motorcycle club is a pipe dream. I'm telling you what, I bring out the haters when I do some of these uh, videos. I'm telling you, haters, man. And they are so committed to making sure that they put all those caps in. That's what uh, the title was taken from, one of these comments where they said, Brotherhood is a motorcycle club pipe dream. Telling you what, this dude cuckoo. I'm the greatest. Cuckoo. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Okay, so I decided to discuss this. Let me turn off this phone for everybody. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. This guy like wrote three paragraphs or something it's like dude you know i love comments on the video but come on man you do have a life yes you don't have to sit there and like dig at everything i guess uh, <laughs> this dude has no life i don't know what to tell you but his biggest complaint was brotherhood don't exist in a motorcycle club now you might have a lot of people that agree with that I don't necessarily agree with that, man. I really don't. I think it's there. You just got to find it. You got to be there and find what's right for you. You know, a lot of people are going to jump into the MC scene because they want that back patch. They want what comes along with it. And nowadays, I really don't know what comes along with it, man. I'm just an old guy now, man. I'm an old gray beard. But for the younger ones, there's a lot of tail, if you know what I mean, that comes along with it. And yes, there is brotherhood. It might not seem that way. And I don't know if this guy just was set off because of what's been going on lately, uh, as far as the conversation about how bad and all that kind of stuff. But damn, man, I don't know if he was put out bad. Uh, but you do see a lot of that when people are commenting on these videos that, hey, yeah, you know, I joined one and it was nothing about brotherhood. It was all about backstabbing, all about politics. And I was like, well, you know, some of it's like that. But you should know going into any organization, and this just ain't MCs here. If you go into something like a fraternity like Elks or Moose, there's always going to be politics. There's always going to be backstabbing. So you're entering an organization that's, you know, based on a fraternity, brotherhood, whatever you want to call it. So you should expect some level of that to happen. Now, I do know it has gotten, you know, how can I say it, inflated, if you will, because of the internet. Before, you wouldn't be able to hear this kind of stuff, and it wouldn't spread as much as it has today, but it all comes down to the internet. We are all now connected through the super information highway, whatever they want to call it, and now you get the opinions of everybody. God knows I do. You know, I attract the crazy ones. You know, what is it with everybody else, man, who's a creator? They get cool people. Me, I get all the psychos. Don't know why that is. I get the psychos. They either bitch that I'm being a jerk to MCs or they're bitching because I'm being too cool to MCs. And I did answer one of them questions is like, dude, you got to give guys and people that want to join a club two sides of the coin so they can make an educated choice. It has nothing to do with trying to discourage people from joining an MC. If you want to, hey, all power to you. Here's what I say, though. Don't go in there jumping, man. Don't do it. Go in and hang around for a long time. Find out who the heck you're going to be around. It's always better to keep your mouth closed, sit back, listen, and observe, and then you'll get all the information possible that you can get and make an educated choice 
on what you want to do. And I'm sorry, some of the people that are making these kind of comments, you must have not have made an educated choice. Hell, I don't make educated choices all the time, but at least I sit back and try to think it out. I don't all of a sudden go and jump into something. And I think that is one of the major problems is people don't hang around. They don't think and they jump in. And next thing you know, well, this don't fit what I want to do. But they've already went through the prospect period. They've already went through uh, getting their patch and stuff. But then all of a sudden, it's like, you know, screw everybody else. That's kind of like what I got from this comment. It sounds like somebody got butt hurt and next thing you know they just want to burn everything down that's the kind of perspective i take when i see these type of comments so guys come on man use your brains and of course we can't forget a lot of today's society doesn't want to be a part of anything uh with the videos right now but anyway they go on to discourage others for doing something they want to do. That is just society nowadays. And, you know, I always told my wife that I'm so glad I did not have to have a childhood during these times because I wouldn't know how to handle it, man. I'd probably be freaking swinging on everybody because just the way they act, you know, the snark remarks and stuff. And you're seeing a lot of that on a lot of creators videos, that kind of attitude because they don't believe in something. They want to diminish somebody else's goal of going to, say, joining an MC. That's why they make these type of comments like brotherhood is a motorcycle pipe dream. I was like, for one, how the heck did you even come up with that? That's like old school, man. You know, and I know it was from somebody in his late 60s. Hey, more power to you, man. You got a voice. That's what Insane Throttle is all about, is having a voice. That's why I let opposing parties come on to the show, and I will be having a lot more content coming out. Not, you know, Monday and Thursdays, yes. Maybe some Sunday lives, I don't know yet. I have to sit and think about it, but I do know that we're doing a lot of redesigning the logos. We're trying to update Insane Throttle. So one of the biggest part is going to let people talk. I got all kinds of help with all that stuff that went down the past week because I allowed somebody else who has an opinion or was a part of the situation to come on and voice their opinion. Boy, did I challenge them, though. That's what one thing you're going to have to find out is when you come on any of these show, you're going to get challenged. I'm not going to sit back and just let you ramble, ramble, ramble. But anyway, what do you all think here? What do you think about this guy's comment, Brotherhood is a Motorcycle Club pipe dream? Let me know in the comments section. And thanks, everybody, for getting me over 100,000 subscribers. That was pretty cool. I didn't even know what happened. Until I said, like, damn, that did happen, didn't it? So you guys who all stuck with me through the years, you're badass. I really appreciate it. Uh, as I always say, rock on. Let's uh, get this comment section blowing up, man. What is your thoughts on all this? Come on, man. I do pick some of the best ones to make uh, titles for videos and talk about it more. I like really getting personable with everybody now and discussing what is on people's mind. So like, subscribe, rock on. Yeah.